Hi everybody, my name is Miss Allison. I'm one of the Youth Services Librarians at the Adriance Library in Poughkeepsie, New York. And uh, what I'm going to be offering today is the Tuesday morning program which I do at the library, which is called Toot and Scoot. It's about a 20 minute movement program and we sing songs, we move around, we play with scarves. So I thought I'd do a condensed version of that to offer to you at home. So before we begin, I just want to say a few things. First thing is, we're not in a normal time right now. Things are very uncertain. There's a lot of anxiety for people right now um, for many different reasons. So one of the things that we want to do here at the library is to offer programs for people to, um, to offer for themselves, for their children, and we're hoping that that will help involve the kids and allay some of that anxiety. Um, also, I want to offer, I order materials for the uh, parenting collection, which is on the children's floor at the library, Adrian's. And I thought each week when I do a Toot and Scoot, I could offer a quick parenting tip. So today's tip is uh, trying to establish a daily routine for yourself and your children when you're at home now during this time. Routines and structure can be really helpful for not only adults, but of course for children to make them feel safe. You know, as I said before, life isn't normal right now. Kids aren't, they're not going to school and seeing their friends, they're not having play dates, they're not coming to the library. So this disruption can be very uh, anxiety causing for children. So uh, again, we wanted to just present our programs as another way for parents to involve their children um, in, in a daily routine. Uh, for older children, you could offer a place in the home, um, a place and time where they can do their homework so they feel some control of that part of their life. Um, doing exercise together, moving around is great for relieving stress and also for young ones helps build those neural pathways in the brain. And also reading a book, sharing a book with your child or having an older sibling read to a younger sibling. And then, of course, you can tune in to our other librarians who are offering story times on our web page. So with that said, let's get going to the program. All right. So uh, I always like to start my Toot and Scoot with a hello song. And some of you know this. And it starts with some clapping. So let's start clapping. And then we'll add our song. And it goes, hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Hello and thank you for joining me. Even though we're not in the same room, we can spend a little time together. All right, so the season is springtime and in the spring things start to grow and get green. So I thought we could do a little counting song of flowers because the flowers will start to be growing soon so can you put your two hands like this and we're going to count some flowers okay we'll do it two times so the first time is practice are you ready okay here we go one little two little three little flowers four little five little six little flowers seven little eight Little nine little flowers, ten little flowers growing in the sun. All right, very nice. Good job. All right, that was practice. Shall we do it again? Okay, ready? We're going to start counting. Here we go. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten little flowers growing in the sun. All right, very nice. Good job. Okay, so in the spring it also likes to rain a lot, but that's good because then things will start to grow. Okay, so let's do a little rain song. So we'll have our fingers up here and then we're going to go rain is falling down and when the rain hits the ground it makes that loud noise can you make that loud noise on your legs good and then we do that again rain is falling down good and then 
again. Pitcher, patter, pitcher, patter. Rain is falling down. Good job. All right. Now the next part of the song is when the sun comes out, and this is a nice one for very little ones. It's a little peekaboo. So we're gonna put our hands up like this, hide behind our hands, and it goes. Sun is peeking out. <gasps> Peek. Sun is peeking out. Peek. Peeking here. Peeking there. Sun is peeking out. Peek. All right. Good. I hope the sun comes back soon. It's been very cloudy and rainy. All right. What else do we have on tap today? How about, some of you know this one. We'll take our right hand left hand put them on your head right hand left hand put them all to bed right hand left hand put them on your chest and then can you go like this ah. right hand left hand put them all to rest all right very nice. Let's do that one again. Here we go. Right hand, left hand, put them on your head. Right hand, left hand, put them all to bed. Wake up. Right hand, left hand, put them on your chest. Ah. Right hand, left hand, put them all to rest. about some scarf songs. So if you don't have a scarf at your house, that's fine. You can use anything. You could use a you could use a sock. Or you could just imagine a scarf. Or you could use a scarf if you have a scarf. I'm gonna use this pretty scarf that my grandma made me. Alright, let's do a couple of scarf songs. Everyone have their scarf ready? Okay, here we go. Some of you know this one. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We'll wave them up high up in the air. We'll wave them down low by the floor. We'll wave them in the middle by our bellies. Because it's fun to do. All right, very nice, very nice, everybody. All right, how about another one? Let's do, let's see, how about scars go up, scars go down, scars go dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Where are your shoulders? Find your shoulders. Good, good. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees. Find your knees. Good, good. And put them all to bed. Very nice. Good job. All right. Let's do one more scarf song. And this one is... Let me take a look. What are we doing? Ah, here we go. Wave your scars up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scars up and down. Wave your scars. Good. Now let's go side to side. Can you try that? Side to side. Good. And then we'll add the song. And it goes, wave your scars side to side. Side to side, side to side, wave your scars, side to side, wave your scars. Good. And the last part, we're going to make some big round circles, like the, like zero, okay, or the shape, the circle shape. Ready? And then we add the song. Wave your scars round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scars round and round, wave your scars. All right, give yourself a big hand. That was great. Thanks for helping me sing. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today, but I like to always end with a goodbye song. 
So we'll take our hands, kind of like open shut them, and it starts that way. Okay, here we go. Open shut them, open shut them, raise them way up high, and then bring them back. Open shut them, open shut them, wave them all goodbye. Good. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining me today, even though we weren't in the same room. Uh, I want to say to please be well. Wash those hands. If you have to go out, make sure you stand your distance from other people. We want to all stay healthy. And please join us with all the other programs we have from our other librarians. We have story times. We have craft programs and things for adults, too. So be well. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Oh,